What we are going to do is amend the telecommunications regulations to do two things. This is going to enable Optus and other telcos to better coordinate with financial institutions to detect and mitigate the risks of malicious activity, including ID theft and scams. And the second is to allow Optus to share limited information about customers with government agencies like Services Australia to assist in preventing fraud. For example, financial services entities who will be eligible to receive the data must be APRA regulated financial institutions. Information can only be used for the sole purposes of preventing or responding to cybersecurity incidents, fraud, scam activity or identity theft. The approved recipients must satisfy very robust information security requirements and protocols for the transfer and storage of data and information received must be destroyed when it's no longer required. Uh, entities will be able to receive government identifier information such as driver's licence numbers, Medicare and passport numbers of the affected customers but not names, addresses, dates of birth or other personal information. And what this does is it helps ensure that the information which is shared is appropriately targeted. Banks who receive the data need to continue uh, review the need to continue holding the data every 12 months and if it's no longer re required it needs to be destroyed. So there is that threshold uh, requirement there. Um, I also point out the regulations are only in place for 12 months um, and we will review the need for them to continue in their current or a future form.